quarter. Thank you so much for joining my very first video on my new YouTube channel. So you might have a few questions such as who am I? What is quilling? Why am I starting a YouTube channel about it? And what's in it for you? So I thought I would introduce the who, what, where, when, how and why I'm starting this new YouTube channel, The Quilling Quarter. My name is Charlotte. I live in Sydney, Australia. I've been quilling for about a year now. I've hosted a couple of quilling workshops last year. I've gifted a few of my pieces to people for Christmas. I've sold some Christmas cards and I've made lots of birthday cards. So your next question might be, well, what is quilling? I mean, I hadn't even heard about it this time a year ago. In its simplest form, quilling is the art of rolling and shaping and gluing strips of paper on edge to create beautiful designs. So you can use it to make gift cards, uh, a scene, decorations, figurines or jewellery. And this form of art can be traced back to the Renaissance. Nuns used to tear Bible paper off the sides of Bibles that was gilded with gold and decorate book covers or religious items. And quilling actually made a resurgence in the 1800s where ladies of leisure were known to decorate boxes and photo frames with quilled embellishments. So where's this all gonna take place? Well, right here on the Quilling Quarter YouTube channel. I also have an Instagram page too, where I share some of my work, which you can follow along there. And I mean, I would love to host workshops again in person, but with the current pandemic, that doesn't look very likely. So online, we'll have to do for now. So the next question is, well, how will this channel work? The way I sort of think about it is the Quilling Quarter is going to be about quilling and it's going to be broken into four general segments. The first segment is how to. I'll make a piece and I'll show you how I did it and I'll explain the techniques that I used to achieve it. The second segment is book review. So it'll be either a book about quilling specifically or a book that I feel is relevant to creativity or the creative process or something along those lines. Anything that I feel is relevant I'll, I want to share it with you. The third segment is artists. In this segment I would love to interview quilling artists and talk to them about their creative process, how they got onto quilling and see some of the amazing pieces that they've created. So if you're a quilling artist and you're watching this, let me know, I would love to talk to you. And finally, the fourth segment will be reflections. So this will be a bit more of a stream of consciousness, what I'm working on, what's in the pipeline and any struggles that I'm having and what I'm learning and to share it with you. Why? So I think there's actually two questions here. Why quilling? And why am I starting this channel? In answer to the first question, why quilling? I love it and I am hooked. Last year I saw a post on the My Modern Met website that showcased the incredible work of Yulia Brodska. I had never seen or heard of quilling before and I was fascinated. Her work was incredible. A few days later I bought some quilling paper from Lincraft and I did my first design. It's Definitely nothing special, but straight away, as I said, I was hooked. I really enjoyed the process. I love the 3D effect of it. I love shaping the paper and the infinite combinations that you can produce. And I especially love gifting my quilling to people and seeing their reactions. So few people have heard of it. So then the second question is, why am I starting this YouTube channel? I think this is the most important question. In short, the answer is to practice and learn and to cope and connect. This YouTube channel will serve as an avenue for me to practice and build my skills. And it always helps to have an audience to keep you accountable. So you'll be my audience and I'll, I'll be making pieces and telling you what I'm doing and I will deliver to you. And also to learn. I would love to learn about the history of quilling and see some historic pieces and also different techniques and, and new ways of making designs and finding out how other artists create their work. Secondly, to cope and connect. As we're all aware, there's a lot going on in the world right now and there's a lot of things that are beyond our control. We all crave human connection and belonging, but this pandemic has made that a bit harder. So for me, I've been working from home for six months so far and with various restrictions still in place on travel and gatherings, it doesn't seem like it'll be easing anytime soon. So having this channel will sort of be a way for me to channel my energy and focus my attention on something else other than the news of the world. I'm certainly not oblivious to it, I just don't want to be focusing all my time and attention on it. So the Quilling Quarter channel will be an outlet for me and a way to connect with people. My vision is to actually build a community of like-minded people where we all share and create and learn together. 
So I hope you'll join me creating, making, sharing, learning, or simply just watching and enjoying the Quilling Quarter for the next year. I look forward to seeing what we can create together and I shall see you on Monday. Goodbye.